Tina here with Mastering Pop, and today I'm going to show you how to fix a broken link, also known as a 404 error, in your Shopify store. Hey everyone, my name is Tia Jones and I'm the founder of Mastering Pop, which is mastering profitability over popularity. I'm also the creator of the No Fail Mastering Ecom Workflow Bundle, which is a digital marketing course that's available right now. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a 404 error in your Shopify store. But before I do that, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. I create videos on things you can implement to level up uh, your e-commerce game. So if you want to become a top performing e-commerce merchant making seven plus eight plus figures uh, annually, then uh, you definitely want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Again, today I'm going to share you how to fix 404. Uh, we all have 404s um, on our website. Um, they happen. You uh, either have a product that product page that you've deleted. If you deleted a product page and you and you don't fix it meaning you don't redirect it to another page, that product to a, a similar product or the home page or a collection page, then you will have a 404 error page, which is a broken link. Um, and a broken link just indicates that the web page that you're trying to reach can't be found, right? So um, I'm going to show you how to do that. It's really easy. Uh, here we go. So right here is a, a 404, right? You've seen this before. Um, so this product no longer exists. So this King Classic Disposable Lighter 50 count doesn't exist anymore. And I want to redirect it either to a similar product or um, a collection page or the home page. Uh, I know for a fact that I won't be getting these back in. Uh, I will not be purchasing any more inventory uh, for this product. So I'm going to go ahead and redirect it to uh, the lighters collection. So I have a lighters collection. So in the back end of your Shopify store, uh, you want to go to online store, navigation, then you want to click URL redirects, and you're going to click create URL redirect. All right, so you're going to put the old URL, which is the broken, the broken link right here, and uh, the new URL that you basically want to re redirect to uh, which is for me, my lighter collection. Oh, we don't want it to be clipper lighters. We want it to be lighters. Let's see, boom, boom, boom. That's when you know all your collections really well. Okay, so we're going to grab this and we're going to enter it here. And then we're going to hit save redirect. All right, so, so that's fixed, right? So this is a page right here. You can see a King Classic disposable lighter. I'm going to refresh and it should redirect to my collection page for lighters. So now that's fixed. So let's just say you have a product that's out of stock and uh, it you probably, you're not gonna be getting it back in stock anytime soon uh, or, at, or at all. So you wanna redirect this, right? It's not a broken page, but it's showing unavailable. So either you're going to redirect it to a similar product or a collection again or uh, the home page. So I'm gonna redirect this to Hmm, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just go ahead and redirect this to the lighter collection again. So I'm gonna click create another redirect old new save. All right, so that's saved, right? But when I click refresh, it still appears. So it's going to continue. It's going to appear because you have to go back to this product on the back end of Shopify and you have to save this page as a draft so that the redirect works, right? So we're going to go to our dashboard. We're going to find the product right here. More actions, set draft, set as draft. All right. So now this is a, now a draft. So we are going to go back to the product. I'm going to refresh and boom, it, uh, it takes some redirects into the lighters collection. So you can do redirects one at a time, or you can also upload in bulk. So the way to do that would be you would go to actions and you would hit import. And 
and you would have to use an Excel spreadsheet, right? So we can, let's, let's go ahead and do one. So let me see. I know I have other lighters that, uh, let's see, that I can redirect to. So this is sold out. Special blue, we'll do this. So here's a product that I want to redirect. So I'm going to redirect this one. Open up my Excel spreadsheet. So redirect from column A, redirect to column B. So column A, I'm going to throw in my old URL. And then I want to go ahead and redirect it to lighters. Okay. So my lighters collection. All right. So we're going to go ahead and save this. And you have to save it as a CSV, right? So CSV, I'm going to say all new to all new to save desktop, save it to my desktop. Boom. All right. So it's saved to my desktop. I saved it as a CSV. Let me just double check that I did that. I know I did that. Yep. CSV. Perfect. And we're now going to upload. So upload the CSV. All right, I know it's on my desktop, boom. Let's see, I got a lot going on, on my desktop, all new to right there, boom. So that's all new to CSV right here, upload file. All right, so here's the redirect, right? And then we're gonna hit import redirects. All right, one redirect has been added to your store. So now we can uh, view the redirect. Let's see. Let me refresh. Make sure it's the correct one because what we did was special blue. Oh gosh, Are you kidding me? The uh, the spreadsheet disappeared on us. So this is what we were redirecting right here. Special blue. Wow. What happened to the, the spreadsheet? Let's see. We'll just look for it real quick. Old, new, to. Wow, that just really just closed, closed out on us, huh? All right. So we're going to open this back up. Wow, this is moving real slow. I'm sorry about this. Let me, hit, let me just fix this really quick and get back to you. All right, so I got the spreadsheet back open. So what we did was we uploaded the uh, redirect, right? So special blue, and we're redirecting it to uh, the lighters collection, right? So I went ahead and refreshed, and here it is right here. This is uh, the redirect that we just uploaded in the spreadsheet. Uh, so now we're going to go back to the product, right? This is the product. And once you hit refresh, you still see the product here. Why? Because even though you redirected it, you still have to, you still have to save it as a draft, right? So here we go. Boom, boom, boom. All right. So now that it's saved as a draft, we're going to refresh it again to make sure that it is redirecting to the lighters collection, right? So we're gonna refresh. All right, there we have it. All right, so that's how you do it. Uh, that is how you redirect either in bulk using a spreadsheet. Again, you just need two columns, redirect from and redirect to. This is old, this is new. You need to make sure you save it as a CSV. Uh, then you're going to go to the back end of your Shopify store. You're going to go to online store. You're going to go to navigation. You're going to click uh, URL redirects. And if you want to bulk upload, you're going to hit actions and import. Or you can just simply create a URL redirect one at a time, right? So that's pretty easy. Extremely easy. Uh, but a lot of people, they don't know uh, that they need to redirect their product pages. And they just have a bunch out there living in Google a bunch of broken links, which again, Google doesn't like that. And it does affect your rankings, which is what you don't want. 
you want to rank well uh, in Google and you want to uh, offer a good user experience uh, to the, your site visitors and having broken pages uh, is definitely not what you want. All right. Uh, I hope you got value out of this video. Uh, again, my name is Tia Jones. I own multiple e-commerce stores. Uh, I am the creator of the No Fail Mastering Ecom Workflow Bundle. Course breaks down email marketing, conversion optimization, link building, partnership marketing, content marketing, uh, reporting, um, business legalities. If you're getting ready to or considering um, starting an e-commerce store or an online store. Uh, I have everything you need as far as what you need to set up business-wise uh, available in this bundle. But um, again, thank you for watching the video and I'll be uploading another video soon. Thank you.